Well, I had a very eventful day today. Uh, we had the production meeting that we have most Saturdays at Heroes and Dreams. But the shopping center was doing a, um, a promotional type thing. And so Jay went out and rented a bounce house, jump jump, whatever the heck you want to call the thing. But it was Batman themed. And so it had... Um, like Batman and Robin on the front with the Joker like right over the door to where when you crawled through the door it looked like the Joker was birthing you. Bane was one of the pillars on the side. I don't remember who the other one was. Anyway, tons of fun. There's a video of it, but you'll probably get that tomorrow. Um, I think at this point, this is my knee. Where's my knee? That is my arm. That's my knee. That right there in the center is a big bruise from me skateboarding yesterday. And my shin, we went, we're went. heading to lunch and I looked down and there's a spot on the front of my shin that is like bright red. That is, I guess, also like some form of whelp or bruise. And I wonder why at midnight I feel like I've been run over by a truck and like I just need to go to sleep right now. There's something that I know is odd about me, and I learned it a long time ago, not all that long ago, like three, four years ago, while I was in college, and I think I only learned it after my life really actually did become easy for a while, and I wasn't busy nonstop, and I was sleeping on a regular schedule. I learned basically if I sleep on a regular schedule for two days, and don't have something that just physically kills me or that I just get worn out from in as far as physical labor or walking a lot or whatever in those two days and I get back on a normal schedule I won't be able to sleep I will literally get to the end of the third day if it was not bad and I won't be able to go to sleep at all because I'm weird I don't know and all of a sudden I'll just have enough energy to like be up for two days straight I've also found that as far as sleep goes, I really like the feeling of being run over by a truck. That whole, like, I'm just so worn out, I can't move. I don't like it for long periods of time, but I like it at the end of a day. Anyway, that's probably why I have issues like whenever I started exercising previously that I would just overexert myself because I didn't feel overly tired in the workout session but then if I did that and I got to the point where I actually couldn't lift the weight anymore and I was still at the gym that's not good because I would end up not being able to move the next day and it's just not not a good process that's part of why I think I have issues with just getting huge because I can work out to that point I can lift a huge weight or a big weight for me but I can't do beat myself up that consistently. Like I just I go too far with it. I've never really found that medium place. Anyway, I'm ranting. You have a good night. I'll talk to you tomorrow and hopefully you'll get some fun videos of people in a bounce house, jump jump or whatever the heck you want to call it.